Hey, uh, welcome to uh, Nightlight. Uh, the Family Life um, team get, is getting together each week and we're just opening God's Word and we want uh, you to be a part of it. So we'd love for your families or if you're by yourself, just to um, uh, come in your living room, your kitchen table, whatever that looks like for you and, um, and just open up God's Word with us and we're going to have conversation about it and really see what God has to say um, to us today. Um, this uh, Nightlight will go out uh, every every Thursday um, in your inbox, but you can watch it any time throughout the week. That's the great thing about it being pre-recorded. A couple things though before we begin that I just wanted to mention to you um, is uh, we've set up here on our table um, a sacred space or kind of a family altar. We would love for you to create something like that at your home and it just is a visual thing to help you uh, just remember a focus. Um, a place to kind of um, land uh, where your heart lands, your uh, eyes land to say, yep, God's present and powerful uh, in this space. Um, and so in just a minute, we're going to put pause um, uh, on our screen and um, have you uh, go gather things um, to make your sacred space or um, uh, or you might already have it already set up, but that's uh, what we're going to look at. Um, also, grab your Bibles, whatever that looks like, your family Bible, your um, iPad Bible, your kids Bible. We want everybody in the Word, even if the kids Bibles don't have the right reference. We just want them opening it up so that their um, their hands are on it. And we just have that just kind of the neat community connect with our um, scripture open. Um, and then finally, we're just going to walk you through sort of a, a liturgy, if you will. We have these nifty little uh, book marks that we made uh, really a couple months ago and since we haven't met together we haven't been able to give it to families if you want one you can actually uh, let us know and we can get those to you but we're gonna walk through an outline of reading scripture thinking about it um, what are some ways that God's calling your heart to um, to live that out loud to pray together and then we're gonna uh, end with a blessing so we're gonna put a pause a moment right now uh, go gather your sacred space items put that together your Bibles and we'll see you on the on the next segment Welcome back, families. I hope you have your Bibles. Um, we're actually going to be looking in the Old Testament today at Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6. Um, I'm reading from an NIV version, so uh, as you follow along, just know that that's the version I'm using. It says, uh, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Yeah, thanks for that, Amanda. Um, as we read scripture, one of the most important things for us to do next is to um, start to ask those questions and think deeper about what is actually being said. And so I'm going to ask you guys, um, what verses, what words stood out to you as Amanda was reading it? Right. Um, for me, the word trust just stands out, that one word. Um, trust in the Lord. That's that's the, the big phrase that stood out to me. Yeah. So mine is a NLT and uh, there's the phrase depend on your own understanding. Um, right now, especially as I'm walking through uh, health issues with Ron, um, I look at that and I go, yeah, right. Um, this is a place that I can't even depend on my understand understanding because it's not even understandable. Mm -hmm. um, and so that just really popped out for me right now. Yeah, and as I get like worked up about things that I'm trying to figure out um, to remember this verse and be like, okay, but it's not about if I understand what's going on or not. Mm -hmm. I've got to trust Jesus mm -hmm. and, you know, what he's doing in the midst of it and those kind of things. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Okay, families, it's your turn. So what we would like you to do is go back and read the verse together um, and just pick one person that can read it and then go around with whoever you're with and share what stood out to you, what phrases, what um, feelings did you have while you read it, whatever that is, and just have every single person um, take a turn sharing. So you can press pause and we'll be back in a second. Welcome back, families. Hope you had a great conversation. We're able to think a little bit deeper about what is God saying in these verses in Proverbs. Um, and now we just want to move. 
We've moved from our heads to our hearts. And now we want to talk about what is God calling us to do from these verses? What is he challenging us? How is he moving our hearts to a deeper level? How can we live these verses out? Um, and so I'm going to ask you guys, what do you think? How, as you read these verses and think about what he's saying, what do you think he's asking you to actually live out and do in them? Yeah, as I've uh, been drinking these words in, um, yeah, not always is it, um, do it do I have to like go out and do stuff as much as to say um, the do for me is the writing it on my heart an assurance on my heart that says um, and probably because uh, and I, I you know hopefully I'll keep bringing this up over and over again but um, because Ron's health is so real and raw right now to me um, that uh, these were such great words to hear from me who is going what do I need to do to help him what do I need to do and God's going don't do trust me and the the do for me is to write these words on the tablet of my heart um, knowing that he's he's got me he's got Ron he's got he's got all of it right I think for me right now it's just um, not necessarily taking action but just being intimate with God and entrusting him is spending time in prayer with him mm -hmm. um, rather than trying to do or have control of this situation of quarantine and having my toddlers at home all day and Mario working at home all day and like trying to find a way to fix the problem mm -hmm. right but instead just resting in the situation and taking time to just spend it in prayer and I had shared last week a lot of that time is during their nap time um, just journaling and spending that intimate time with God um, when I think about this again as like far as younger kids if I'm sitting at the table with them and having this discussion with my three-year-old and my almost two-year-old this is pretty deep. Um, so we would focus on how do we trust in God? And um, we would show and demonstrate that. You know, Melody has this little cross that she's been holding on to that was actually given to her by Audrey when we had um, our Lent services going on. And Melody was really struggling with, with dark. Like she was scared of the dark all of a sudden. We never had that issue before. And she just had this cross and it was like such a good reminder. It was this little hand wooden cross. Um, and it was a reminder for her that Jesus is with her wherever she goes. Mm -hmm. And so at nighttime, um, when she would start to get scared, I would hand her her cross and she would put it on her chest and I would just say, remember, Jesus is with you. And we would always say a prayer about, you know, um, let me get some sleep tonight and um, let me not be scared of the dark. Give me courage to be brave. And that was like a demonstration of trust for her. So in my household with my littles, we might just spend some time praying and thanking God for X, Y, and Z, you know? Yeah, it's a hard question because trust is basically not doing something, yeah. right. right? So God's asking me to stop. Mm -hmm. and, and that's how I know I'm living those verses out is when I can not actually move away from trying to control it and trying to fix it or do anything like that. But to hold on to the cross, mm -hmm. take a deep breath, and know that he has it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So it's kind of like a, a, a contradiction right. of the question and what he actually is calling us to do. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah. Every week I've been meeting um, uh, through Zoom with about 16 to 20 fifth and sixth graders. And uh, this kind of question would be, their little minds are thinking, um, like, what can I, do I need to go out and do? Do I need to go out to, like, live this out loud? Um, and my question uh, would come back to them with, um, what is something in your life right now that you're just having trouble trusting God in? Um, and maybe just the, the do part of that is just speaking that out loud yeah, and laying it at the foot of the cross and going, yep. And it doesn't mean that when you lay it out that you've definitely let it go completely. I mean, we're the, it's that human wrestle, right? Um, but it's like speaking out loud so, so that you can go, God, you're right. Like, I'm, I'm like holding on. I'm trying to control all this. Speak those non-trusty places out loud and let God just sort of cleanse it and clear it through. So, yeah. yeah. And I mean, when you get to have these settings with your family and actually talk about those things, um, especially for a fifth or sixth grader, or even as a parent, like it's nice as a as a kid to hear your parents maybe talk about some of those things, and then yeah. to pray over it as a family. Like there's just something really special and unique when you like let Jesus come in the center of those conversations. Right. Yeah. Totally. So it's your turn, families. You get to um, have this conversation and. Um, 
chew and digest what does it look like for you to trust in Jesus right now? How do you acknowledge him in all your ways? Um, and so just take time talking about that with each other. And as much as you're comfortable, share things that you're struggling trusting him with. And maybe um, in the next step, you can include those in your prayers and just really lean on letting him take them. So it's your turn. We hope you enjoy your conversation. You can press pause. Glad to have you guys back. Um, we hope that you've had some great discussion and that it's been eye-opening for you guys as a family to just kind of talk about some of the areas that you're trying to trust God at this time. Um, we're going to go ahead and pray. Um, so please bow your heads and pray with me. Uh, dear God, thank you so much for this opportunity to just um, give us time to spend time in your word um, and just to, to really think about the words that you have given us. Um, as a family life team, we just ask that you would be with each and every single one of the families watching this right now and that the Spirit would move through the hearts of all the family members doing this together. We ask that you would cover um, ourselves and the people watching this um, with just protection and good health um, and that you would just give them peace and comfort and give them the strength they need to really have that faith to just trust in you at this time, Lord. In your name we pray, amen. amen. Awesome. Hey, we wanted to uh, give you an opportunity in your homes to be praying for each other. Um, and sometimes that's a little daunting. And so we wanted to give you um, just sort of a lead-in question or a lead-in statement that you can use if that's helpful uh, in any way. One of the things we actually were talking about in the pause moment before this is um, if you're a single person at home, uh, if you're all alone or your college student is uh, in their dorm room still or their apartment all by themselves, um, you, can, you can use this outline also with them via Zoom. I mean, what a great way to be praying for each other across the miles or um, the other side of the state, whatever that looks like. So um, we're going to put a pause button here in just a moment, and we want you to be praying uh, in your homes uh, and in your family uh, moments. And so we want you to use this phrase, or we'd love for you to use this phrase, um, God, I trust you to take care of, and you fill in however that statement uh, looks for you right now. Uh, you can pray for either somebody on the on your right, or you can pray for yourself um, as a popcorn kind of prayer, whatever that looks like. But the words are, God, I trust you to take care of, whatever that looks like. So put a pause button, be praying for each other, and we'll come back on the other side. Hey, welcome back. Um, we have uh, spent some time together um, uh, in God's Word today. We've read it. Uh, we've thought about it. Um, we have talked about how um, God is calling us to live it out loud. And we've prayed together. Um, rich stuff, right? And we want to end our time together each week um, with blessing each other. Um, this week we're actually going to say a blessing um, to you um, this way. But next week we're actually going to talk about um, how you can bless each other around your table. One of the things that we were talking about uh, in the pause moment before this is um, that you can actually actually do this with uh, friends you know who are at home alone. Um, you can uh, Zoom with them, you can FaceTime with them, your college students that are um, uh, in other parts of the states living in their apartments or wherever they are. Um, what a great way to just be in the Word together, be praying for each other and uh, to bless each other. And so today um, we're going to end our time uh, blessing each other. Um, the early church, um, this was a significant to them that before they headed out on their journey or their everyday walk, um, they turned and they blessed each other. Um, and it was a way for them to write um, God's word on each other's heart and just reassure each other that God was present and powerful for them. So the blessing that we um, pray for you and pray on you today, um, I think of uh, Deuteronomy 31.8, which is one of my favorite verses, is that God goes before you and behind you and all around you. He's with you wherever you go and that you know and trust that he is with you with you and will be with you in the days to come. Uh, Redeemer, we love you so much. We miss seeing your faces around here. We look forward to being together with you again uh, next week, and uh, we pray God's blessing on your week. God bless.